Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about university and things after sixth form or school or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I am not going to university. I am going to take a higher apprenticeship in digital marketing because I just feel it's the right path for me. I don't want to go into a job that requires you to have a degree such as teaching or becoming a doctor. I would like to run my own business in the end but at the meantime I just lo would love to work in like a media company or something like that. I am not pressured into not going to university, both my parents have said I can do what I want as long as I'm happy um, which is great, I'm very very thankful for that because I know there are some people who feel very pressured to go to university because of their family or whatever and yeah I just think you know you kind of have to do what you want to do. You kind of have to be selfish in a way and think of where it's going to take you. Is university beneficial for you? Is it not? Is it worth it? Um, what, will, what will you gain out of it? What will you not gain out of it? Maybe you can't afford it. Maybe it's not worth it if you can't afford it. Maybe there's lots of other things you can do such as a high apprenticeship, which is what I'm doing. It's basically where you have a job and you get taught as well but you also get paid so it's kind of like a normal apprenticeship but it's only ones that are available after sixth form so after you do your A levels or you do a degree in college, a course in college so you kind of get paid a bit more than those people who do apprenticeships straight out of school and I just think that nowadays they're becoming so much more popular because you know employers really want people who have lots of experience I know there are employers who want people that have good grades and you know um, certain qualifications this and that and that is true there are still people that want that but lots of people also want people that have lots of um, experience in the field or whatever and that's where apprenticeships really really come into their own because you get a qualification and you also get plenty of experience so yeah I definitely recommend checking them out I also recommend if you are really not sure whether to go to university or your family want you to go to university but you don't really want to go to university, I recommend talking to a family member, maybe one who you're really close to and just opening up to them and saying look I, I'm not really sure whether university is my thing, mum and dad want me to go but I don't really know if I want to go type of thing or talk to a good friend, that's another good way or maybe like someone who's not really in the family but are kind of part of the family so like an auntie who's not really an auntie but your mum's friend or something, talk to them or careers advisor, they're really good as well, talk to them. Um, I know sometimes they can be a pain but they're actually really helpful and they know a lot of stuff so you know definitely use them while you're at your sixth form or your college before you leave. Another idea would be to apply for university and then defer it which gives you a whole year to either go on a gap year and travel or um, do an internship or something like that so it kind of gives you a lot more time to think about stuff instead of you like rushing straight into university you could always leave school um, start an apprenticeship or a job or whatever and you can always go to university that's the thing university isn't is for all ages you know above 18 and you can go there when you're you know if you really want to pursue something when you're older you can always um, apply when you're older and do a night course or something you know if you don't decide to go to university when you're 18, it's not, you know, you can always go when you're older, it's not totally restricting you. So I just want to like make it aware to you guys that there are more options and I don't want you guys to feel like university is the only thing because it's not. And also, if you guys are going to university and you are worrying about um, money or something, then there are so many things. One of my friends has a grant, which is great, she doesn't have to pay 3000 of her university fees. There are just so many things out there that you can get. Um, for example, if you are the first person in your family to go to university, you can get a lower price or something like that. There are many things, um, like if, if, if you're going on an engineering course and you're a girl, I'm sure that you can get grants and stuff for that. And I just know that there's so many things out there that you should maybe look into, maybe, you know, definitely look on the web or, um, blogs or YouTubes, there's, I'm sure there's lots of other videos about it, so go and have a look. If not, you can always ask me and I will try and answer questions as best as I can. And yeah, I just don't want you guys to feel pressured um, into doing something that you don't want to do because 
it's kind of different. It's not, we're not talking about alcohol, we're not talking about smoking or anything like that. We're talking about a big decision and it is, it can get very stressful for lots of people, which I don't want it to. So, you know, you can always ask me anonymously, maybe on my Tumblr, ask me a question or, you know, anything like that. Um, I'm kind of here to help, like I kind of know both sides, lots of my friends are going to university because their family want them to or because they want to, whereas I'm not going to university because it's not the right path for me and I don't want to go to university and start university and then drop out, I'd rather just start a new path. Um, so yeah, I just think that there's so many more things that you can do. Why not go travelling, why not, you know, go and work in a summer camp for the summer and then start university, something like that. There's so many things which you can do. So if you go traveling maybe in your gap year and you come back and you might decide that you don't want to go to university, you might decide you want to move abroad and work abroad or something like that. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wanted to do this video. I didn't want to make it too long, but I didn't want to make it short. I just wanted to like talk to you guys and let you know that you're not alone if you don't want to go to university, it's completely fine. Um, it's one of those things that is kind of still frowned upon, but it's not frowned upon as much as it used to be. Lots of people are becoming a lot more understanding around uh, university. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video to help you guys really, as it's one of those subjects which people talk about, but then people don't really talk about. So yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, uh, ask me on my Tumblr or Facebook or Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. All of my links will be in the down bar below. Also make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also um, request more videos like this, just leave a comment. Um, maybe you want some help with like starting sixth form or GCSEs or something like that. Just let me know and I will see you soon.